If someone had said in 2022 that by 2026, it would be possible to buy a foldable phone for just over $200 and never pay for an internet plan again, most people would have laughed. But that's exactly what Elon Musk promises with the launch of the Tesla Pi Phone Fold. With an announced price of just $215, the model is already becoming a legend even before it leaves the assembly lines. We're not talking about an ordinary phone, but a project based on the same mentality that transformed the automotive sector. Reducing parts, cutting manual steps, and maximizing efficiency with industrial robots. And yes, this also applies to the phone you'll carry in your pocket. If you thought foldable phones were limited to Samsung and Google's top-of-the-line models, perhaps it's time to rethink. While traditional brands invest in hinges composed of more than 150 tiny parts, Tesla seems to be laughing at the complexity. Their solution? A hinge with a titanium core, with fewer than 40 parts in total. And more, the entire design was made to allow for automated production, with robots performing assembly in record time. The savings here aren't aesthetic, they're pure engineering. And that changes everything, because if you reduce the number of parts and eliminate manual assembly, the price drops without compromising durability. It's as if they were manufacturing cell phones with the same logic as an electric car from Giga Texas. But the most brilliant trick may lie in the device's casing. Instead of relying on time-consuming machined structures, like most foldable devices that require 90 to 110 minutes of CNC machining, Tesla opted for cast aluminum molds. This cuts production time to an incredible 12 minutes per unit. Anyone who works in manufacturing knows what that means. Less energy, less tool wear, and a huge leap in large-scale production. Now imagine these casings being stacked in series by robotic arms, one after the other, without pause, day and night. This simplification is what allows the price to be so aggressive. Because it's not just the hinge and the casing, the entire Pi Phone Fold design follows the mantra of efficiency. Musk's team seems to have taken everything they learned in the Fremont and Berlin factories and condensed it into something the size of the palm of your hand. The result is a device that can be sold for $215 without seeming crazy. And if you still think that's an exaggeration, wait until you see where the screen components come from and how they manage such a low price per unit. But that's a topic for another time. In practice, the Pi Phone doesn't just want to compete with the big players. It wants to redefine what it means to be premium in 2026, not with gold or brushed glass, but with industrial engineering applied on a grand scale. And honestly, this is one of the few times the accessible technology for everyone discourse finally seems to move from PowerPoint to reality. Those who lived through the era of $1,000 cell phones will look at this Tesla model and think, how did they manage to make it so cheap? But perhaps the more accurate question is, why didn't anyone do this before? While everyone is still trying to understand how Tesla managed to reach such an aggressive price, the secret also lies in what's inside the device. Starting with the screen, the most expensive element of any foldable smartphone. Instead of using the same factories that supply panels to Samsung or Google, Tesla reportedly closed deals with Chinese manufacturers specializing in 6.7 to 6.9-inch hybrid OLEDs, with prices ranging from $65 to use $75 per unit when ordered in volumes exceeding 1 million. That's right, what cost $150 two years ago now costs half that. And since the Pi Phone Fold doesn't want to compete with absurd 2K or 4K resolutions, the choice of a simpler yet still beautiful and functional panel seems more than intelligent. It seems strategic. This choice, incidentally, is in line with what's under the hood. The Pi Phone Fold's chip won't be a top-of-the-line Snapdragon, nor does it need to be. The bet is on a 4 nanometer processor derived from SpaceX systems, with around 2.5 teraflops of computing power. This puts it on the same level as Qualcomm's premium mid-range chips, 
but with a difference. It was designed not for heavy gaming or ostentatious benchmarks, but for browsing, calls, streaming, and, mainly, managing satellite data packets. It's a chip that prefers to work for longer and with more stability, rather than burning battery delivering useless performance peaks in everyday use. In fact, if there's one area where Tesla couldn't afford to make a mistake, it's in battery life. After all, what good is a cell phone with Starlink access if it dies halfway through the connection? Therefore, the device will feature a 4,800 nanometer mAh battery coupled with a simplified thermal design. No five vapor chambers or elaborate cooling systems. The goal is to keep energy consumption under control, even when the satellite connection is active. The idea is that the user will have at least a full day of use even under heavy use conditions, without needing to be constantly plugged into an outlet or portable charger. Another interesting feature is the standardization of internal memory. The Pi Phone Fold should come with 256 gigabit of UFS, the same technology already used in Tesla's own cars. By reusing components from the automotive supply chain, the company not only reduces costs, but also ensures scale and reliability. These storage chips cost between $11 and $14 when purchased in bulk, which helps keep the final cost of the phone incredibly low. It's not luxury, it's logic, using what already works on a large scale and adapting it to a new product. It's curious to think that the Pi Phone Fold isn't trying to win the race in terms of technical specifications. On the contrary, it seems to be opening a new path that of intelligent sufficiency. It doesn't aim to have the best camera on the market or the highest number of pixels per inch. The focus is on delivering a stable, functional, and accessible experience. A phone that competently solves the essentials and that, in times of technological overload, sounds almost like a silent revolution. And speaking of experience, everything indicates that the operating system will also be adapted to take advantage of the Tesla ecosystem. Integration with vehicles, the company's app, OTA updates, and even smart home control could transform the phone into an extension of the Tesla experience. It's not yet known whether it will be based on pure Android or some modified version, but everything points to a minimalist, fast, and practicality-oriented system. The boldest promise of the Pi Phone Fold isn't in its price or titanium hinge. What's really grabbing the world's attention is the possibility of never paying a cell phone bill again. That's right, lifetime internet via Starlink, included in the $215 price tag with no monthly fees. Sounds crazy, right? But when you analyze Tesla's plan closely, it starts to make sense. The trick lies in how the Starlink network has evolved and how it will be used differently on a cell phone than in a traditional home phone. And if there's one company in the world capable of completely changing the logic of global connectivity, it's precisely the one that also sends rockets into space every week. It all starts with the type of satellite used. The Starlink V2 mini satellites, already in orbit, deliver between 20 and 40 GBPs depending on the coverage area. But the full V2 models which SpaceX plans to launch en masse as soon as Starship enters regular flight mode, have a capacity exceeding 80 GBPs and use bandwidth beams that can be dynamically directed, adjusting the connection according to demand in real time. This is crucial because a cell phone consumes much less bandwidth than a residential antenna and can benefit from this flexibility. A residential Starlink terminal consumes up to 90 watts and is capable of downloading 4K movies without stuttering. A smartphone, on the other hand, consumes less than one watt in satellite transmissions. This reduces the load on satellites and allows many more users to share the same infrastructure without overloading the network. Internal tests suggest that a Pi Phone Fold operating directly on Starlink would use between 8 and 22 MBPs of download and 3 to 8 MBPs of upload. More than enough for calls, messages, 720p videos, and light browsing. Now comes the key point. Average data consumption via satellite is much lower than on 5G or LTE networks, precisely because users tend to conserve data. 
avoiding heavy uploads and preferring Wi-Fi for large tasks. In tests with low power links, average daily usage dropped to 1, 4 to 3.6 GB per day. When multiplied by millions of users, it seems like a lot, but it isn't. The Starlink constellation, projected for 2027, will have more than 5.5 petabits per second of total capacity, which easily absorbs this demand, provided that devices adhere to certain consumption limits. This is where Tesla's business model comes in. Instead of charging a monthly fee, the company could prepay for a lifetime data allocation for each device, embedding this value in the sale price itself. With the radical reduction in launch costs provided by Starship, which could bring the cost per kilogram in orbit below $50, launching satellites becomes much cheaper. A complete V2 satellite can cost less than $7 million and serve tens of thousands of cell phones simultaneously. The individual cost, diluted, becomes almost symbolic. Of course, for all of this to function stably, the Pi Phone Fold needs to respect well-defined technical limitations. And this isn't a flaw. It's a conscious choice. A global satellite data system, without monthly fees, can only be viable if the devices behave predictably. This means establishing speed limits, traffic compression, thermal management, and, above all, demand control for each user. After all, we're talking about millions of cell phones connected to the same orbital constellation. A simple slip-up and everything could turn into digital chaos. The first limitation is data speed. While Starlink's residential kits offer speeds exceeding 150 baht MBPs, the Pi Phone Fold will operate, under ideal conditions, between 8 and 22 MBPs download and 3 to 8 MBPs upload. This may seem low to those accustomed to 5G, but it's more than enough for video calls, maps, instant messaging, and even 720p streaming. And between us, if you're going to never pay for a plan again, you can give up watching 4K movies on the bus, right? Another important issue is latency. Even with V2 satellites and their improved laser link routes, the direct response time from the satellite to the phone will be between 40 and 90 milliseconds. This puts the Pi phone fold above the average for a good 5G network, but still much better than traditional satellite connections based on geostationary orbit. In other words, you can forget about ultra-competitive online games, but for everyday tasks such as browsing, listening to music, using social networks, and working remotely, everything is as expected. And it doesn't stop there. Tesla will apply bandwidth governance directly to the device. When the phone detects that it's connected via Starlink, it will activate an intelligent mode that reduces video bitrate, delays automatic system updates, and even compresses non-essential traffic. This keeps each user within a healthy usage range, respecting the projected limit of 1.4 to 3.6 GB per day via satellite. In practice, it's as if each Pi phone fold has its own data-saving mode, but completely automatic. This strategy avoids consumption spikes that could collapse Starlink's regional cells, especially in densely populated areas. Instead of limiting what the user can do, Tesla shapes the device's behavior so that it works in harmony with the network. It's like a balancing act. You can use everything, as long as you use it intelligently. And all of this happens in the background, without the user needing to configure anything. It's the kind of engineering that solves a problem before it even exists. Now, there's a detail that few people mention, but it makes all the difference. Thermal control. Connecting directly to a satellite requires more energy than a traditional cell tower. This generates heat. Therefore, the Pi Phone Fold comes with an optimized set of components. A 4,800 mAh battery, a low-power processor, and a voltage controller specifically calibrated for communication with low-orbit satellites. This trio works together to keep the device between 36 and 42 degrees Celsius, even during prolonged use. No overheating in your pocket or burning your hand during long calls. If there's one thing that sets the Pi Phone Fold apart from any other smartphone on the market, it's how it manages data consumption. Instead of simply offering unlimited internet, 
Without considering the consequences, Tesla created an intelligent data management system that works behind the scenes all the time. This is crucial because, instead of relying on ground-based towers with fixed local capacity, the Pi phone fold connects to constantly moving satellites. To ensure everyone has stable access, each device needs to know exactly how to behave. And that's where it gets brilliant. Management begins with the activation of the adaptive satellite profile. As soon as the phone detects that it is using the Starlink network, its behavior changes automatically. No more 4K streaming or heavy updates happening in the background. The system understands that this moment demands maximum efficiency. Videos are automatically downgraded to lower bit rates, less important files are compressed, and software updates are postponed until a Wi-Fi connection is available. All this without the user having to touch anything. It's as if the phone is being educated in real time. This strategy is not only clever, it's necessary. If each user had complete freedom to consume as they pleased, bottlenecks would quickly arise in certain regions. But by keeping daily usage between 1.4 and 3, 6 GB per device, Tesla ensures that millions of devices can operate simultaneously without compromising the network. And this doesn't mean radical limitation, but rather intelligent prioritization. You can still watch videos, use social media, make video calls, and send files, but all in a way that respects the entire ecosystem. Another interesting detail is that this control doesn't depend on the user's common sense, which would be asking too much. It's built into the phone's software itself. The operating system already comes with the necessary settings to understand what type of data is being transmitted, its importance at that moment, and the best way to handle it. This transforms the Pi Phone Fold into something more than just a phone with free internet. It's an intelligent node in a shared global network, designed to keep everything flowing smoothly. And it doesn't stop there. The management system also works to prevent regional congestion. During peak hours or in areas with high user density, the device automatically adjusts its demands to reduce impact. Videos are preloaded in low resolution, less urgent data is put on hold, and large notifications are sent in optimized packets. This type of automatic decision-making ensures that the system does not collapse, even in large cities, airports, or events. Tesla has also added layers of intelligent compression for network traffic. For example, instead of loading a 4 mendibyte image, the system compresses it to 400 kb without the user noticing a significant visual loss. This saving multiplies across billions of daily interactions, relieving the satellites and maintaining a fluid experience. It's the kind of technical detail that goes unnoticed by most, but makes all the difference on a large scale. This way of thinking is clearly influenced by how SpaceX operates its systems in space. It's not about brute force. It's about orbital efficiency. The Pi Phone Fold is like a personal little spaceship that communicates with satellites and makes decisions every second about how best to use every byte. And honestly, that's far more impressive than any benchmark of speed or number of cameras. All this embedded intelligence in the Pi Phone Fold, from satellite connectivity to real-time data compression, brings with it an inevitable side effect higher energy consumption. Unlike a regular cell phone, which connects to nearby ground towers, the Pi phone needs to maintain direct communication with satellites hundreds of kilometers in altitude. This requires more power and consequently generates more internal heat.